So each of these, we really have to look at what we are being asked to find. So we see we have arc length and all this good stuff. So once again, we are going to be looking at part over whole equals part over whole. All right, let's look at what we have and what we don't have. Normally, on the right-hand side, we do partial degrees divided by total degrees. Um, so, let's see. Do we have partial degrees? Do we have total degrees? Um, well, yes, we do. The partial degrees are 290 degrees. All right, we're looking at this major arc. Oh, you know what? That made me curious about something. Um, remember, we sort of predicted that this would be about 100 I'm just looking at it, uh, estimating to see if our answer is reasonable. And here it came out to be 114 degrees. So that's pretty close to our guess. Um, so that tells us our answer is reasonable. So you should always kind of ask yourself, is your answer reasonable? Amaya, did you take your pills? Mm -hmm. All right. Apparently Amaya did take her pills, so everything is OK. Um, so this is 290 <laughs> degrees. <laughs> Um, out of a total of 360, <laughs> so we have the uh, we so we do have the partial degrees and the total degrees. Now let's see what we have on this side. Um, on this side is where we do length, so we're gonna have partial length and then the total length or the circumference. Um, we have the partial length, you know, the arc length, right here. It is 46. 0.75. So the only thing that we're missing is the whole length, which is also known as the circumference. So I might as well just go ahead and put a big C there for circumference. Now is a good time for me to look back and see what are we actually being asked to find. Well, oh look, we're being asked to find the circumference. And so all we have to do is find the C and we're done. I really recommend using theta if you're finding degrees, um, using C if you're finding the circumference, and uh, you can use X if you're finding like the arc length, but that will help you keep track of what you're doing. Um, let's reduce this like I'm always saying. So 290 over 360, 290 over 360. Hmm, that's 29 over 36. Okay, that wasn't much of a help but it's something and basically we cross out those zeros so anyway we have 46.75 over the circumference is equal to 29 over 36 time to cross multiply okay so we're gonna do this action right here and uh, that's going to give us 29C equals, and then we're going to do this action right here. Okay, and you know what? I'm going to do like I did before, and I'm just going to leave this uh, separate. So 36 times 46.75. Okay. Now let's see, I'm kind of curious, what would have happened if I had multiplied those together? 36 times, what was it? 46.75. Well, that's not too bad. 36 times 46.75, so 1,683. That's pretty good. I'm going to go with that. one thousand six hundred eighty three um, let's go ahead and divide both sides by twenty nine okay divided by twenty nine back to the calculator I'll just hit divided by twenty nine so that is fifty eight point zero three Alright, and I should include the units here, which are feet. 
So we were supposed to find the circumference and we did it. Okay, so that is how you do number 18.